This video illustrates how wrist arthroscopy is used to repair a torn ligament in the wrist. The scaphalunate ligament is the most important ligament in the wrist that provides stability and can be a source of chronic pain. Arthroscopy is used with traction where the joint is dilated and then an arthroscope or fiber optic instrument is inserted into the joint to visualize the pathology and also allow repair. Here the red tissue which demonstrates which illustrates synovitis, is a reaction to the torn structure, namely the scaphalunate ligament in this case. A shaver, which is a mechanical device which debrides or excises the tissue, is used. At this point, the TFCC, which is a cartilage, is noted to be intact, and we now enter another part of the wrist joint, the midcarpal joint, to determine the stability between the carpal or wrist bones. The shaver is also used to perform synovectomy and allow better visualization of the structures. Once midcarpal debridement is done, we can at this point note that there is actually a gap uh, between the scaphoid and lunate, but no gap between the lunate and triquetrum. Here the gap and space is illustrated between the scaphoid to the left and the le lunate to the right. Once debridement is done, pinning of the bones are done in a percutaneous or through the skin fashion so no incision is required. Fluoroscopy demonstrates good position of the pins which are now cut underneath the skin. These pins will be in place for an eight week total in order to allow healing of the debrided ligament. The portals are closed simply with steri strips to minimize scarring and you see that the patient is awake under sedation in order to perform this outpatient procedure. The patient will be seen the following week for cast application.